this is part one. Now, when I bought this car, it was sort of in this condition. Whatever that's going on. And it looked clean. And I had my son, hey, go out there and clean it. He found a few things. I told him to stop. I want to do the video because I want to actually see what it is before he gets his... <clears throat> I would say something different if I was in the army. But I can't. So it's his grubby little hands. So we'll first we'll look in the glove box. We already know this is just the uh, bill of sale. It's not, it's not insured yet, and there's no title yet. Yet. So, all right. Moving right along. This were... <laughs> This is where the area where the 4x4 controllers would be. As you see, it's not there. Anyways, um, as you can see, there's no cracks in the dash. There is a crack over there in the door panel, right? Oops. Right there. You can see it. So, we know that's a concern we're going to have to fix eventually. There's no weird smells. It smells like a Jeep. It's got that weird Jeep smell. I don't know what that smell is all about. Um, there is a bobby pin. So you know a female or someone with some sort of long hair had it. Whoever the people who had this car before, they didn't clean that out, but that's fine. Um, let's see, anything under here? No, he pretty much vacuumed that up. And I go under here. Let's see if there's anything. Yeah. It's kind of a weird place for the what does the owner's manual? Yeah. Owner's manual. Hmm. I don't know why it was under there. It should be in a glove box. But uh, I think we're just gonna put it back and let Junior figure that out. Um, this was not in here. These seat covers were in. Um, I don't feel any tears or rips, so that's good. So I know the seat, the seat, uh, condition is good. Uh, headliner, not bad, not bad at all. Uh, let's go in the back seat. <clears throat> I sort of already did a cursory search under this seat. I think there was some chapstick and I left it there, whatever, but, um, I don't know what that is, but, all right. As you can see, it's, I don't know if you can see that, it says 133,050 miles. It says two doors are open. Well, thank you very much there. <sighs> so, there's only one Wrangler on this right rear tire. The rest of them are, um, what is that? Douglas? And it's dry rotted. Pretty good. As you can see, the 0418, so that's like what the fourth week of 18. Yeah, it's not good. Alright, so let's go ahead and. Oh, uh, I guess you moved the chapstick over here. Why do you do that? Oh, come on. Sometimes I don't understand teenagers. Bert's bees. Bert's in the trash. And let's see if there's anything under here. I don't know yet. What's that? Oh, cool. Three CDs. Well, at least they know the previous owners had good taste in music. At Black Sabbath, we sold our soul for rock and roll. All right. Let's see what's in here. Of course, if you know anything about CDs, they always break these tabs off. Oh, it's not Black Sabbath, but it is Led Zeppelin, BBC Sessions. <laughs> um, okay, cool. It says it's a, a two-disc CD set. Two records on one set. Well, that's, that's with the Black Sabbath album, so we'll leave that out because I think my son likes Black Sabbath. That are best of the scorpions. Okay. Yeah. Best of the scorpions. Ooh, Metallica. And Justice for All. Nope. Ramones. Eh, that's okay. 
Hey ho, let's go. Hey ho, let's go. All right. <clears throat> let's go ahead and check the trunk here. When I looked at this initially, there wasn't really anything back here. And then you gotta twist these up. This thing comes up. Two oil filter wrenches. That's what was in here before. So I already knew that. And then oil filter B cap wrench. Okay. That's about it. Tires or spare tires under underneath. Um nothing there. Nothing really. Nothing really exciting. Let me pull those up. Oh wait a minute. This is something I didn't check, but I did sort of notice these things were like that. Hanging there. Um nothing, I don't see anything. <clears throat> Let's see here. Mm, nothing. It's a little dust. I think I'm going to get wrapped around the axle for Seals are sealing. Yeah, I could tell my son didn't uh, really clean well enough. After I told him, hey, make sure you get these areas. Okay, Dad. He didn't. <clears throat> um, the struts work. That's good. I did replace the strut in the for the hood, and that was twenty bucks, and works now. Um, I did replace this, as you can see. I had to uh, take a grinding wheel and grind off the. Let's see if I can get this off, and I'll show you. Um, if you take this nut off, there's like this little sleeve that sort of gets sort of press fit and you kind of torque this down ish. And that sleeve was stuck on there because this whole arm was broken off and there's like the piece, the white piece and it was dry rotted. So and then the blade, this new one, kind of just slips in there and it works surprisingly. <clears throat> Gas cap. Did he clean that? No, that's all right. It's installed. Another Douglas tire over here. Let's see. 318. All right. Still dry rotted. But, you know, that's to be expected. A car sitting for two years, abandoned essentially. Now, he did mention this here. And that's when I stopped. Hey, I said, stop. Let me. He said it was pictures or something. I think that's what it is. Yeah. So, well, I see pictures of people. I don't want to broadcast them. It's on Instamax. I don't know what that's all about. But, um, that's from uh, Washington, D.C. I think the Civil Rights Museum. Civil and Human Rights. Center for Human, Civil and Human Rights. Uh, um, let me see if there's anything else I can show you. These pictures that, uh, you know, uh, people... So the story about this car is <clears throat> wife and husband owned it and I think that's about enough. Take them out. And so the apparently what the guy was telling me at the, the auction is that the um, husband messed around on the wife and husband took off, left her. And the wife apparently um, got mad, obviously. A little upset, and I think, understandably, and she just abandoned the car in the hospital parking lot on a military base and said, uh, call the MPs and said, hey, uh, I don't want the car, and abandoned it. That's a story on that. Now, you would think that if she was so pissed off that she would, you know, wreck the car in some way or another, but no, she didn't, thankfully. So the car was worth every penny I paid for this. I don't, I'm not an American car fan. I'm not a Jeep fan, but at this price, and the miles on it, and he's 17 years old, man, I call that good. 
Let's see if there's anything under here, anything. So, let me go in here and look. No. Oh, wait, what's this? I don't know what the f Um, put that in my junk drawer. I don't know what that is. Maybe you people out there in <coughs> YouTube land can tell me what that is. I don't feel anything else. It's not the weirdest thing I found in a car, <laughs> or any car really. Oh, anything under here? I missed anything? No. Usually, a lot of coins and other stuff fall into this cavity underneath this uh, the vent for the rear passengers. A lot of stuff will fall back there, like French fries and oh, look, my son forgot that gum wrapper. Ding dong. Yeah, nothing in here. Let's see if there's anything back there. Nope. Nope, nothing at all. Um, nope, nothing there. Told him to clean that up, but of course. Uh, Told him to get the pressure washer out. And of course, on every car, really, you get this. Probably should wear in high heels or something. Caught it, or the guy was driving or whatever. Um, I know he cleaned into that. Nothing here. Wires and stuff. No change. But, uh... <clears throat> Let's see here. We put that in. This thing doesn't have Bluetooth. It's a, uh, 05, so at that time it didn't. Now my Tundra over there doesn't have Bluetooth either, but I got one of these. Works just fine. Don't think anything of it. Uh, let's see. Anything up here? Nope. We looked in. Like I said, we didn't look at everything when we first bought it. We looked at a few things. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and pop the Z hood. And, yeah, whiskey dent. Who cares about that? That I mentioned was a California car. New battery. I had to put a new battery in because of, uh, Reasons the other one was dead. This is a 3.7 V6. Belt's good. Spider webs everywhere. Dust everywhere. No carbon air filter apparently, because you can see right, right into it. There's the information there. All the fluid levels are good. There's a chute for the oil. <laughs> and... Yeah, nothing seems too dry rotted. Might have to replace these one one day. Now, the bumper's a little, uh... I don't know what to, how to describe it. It's a little, uh... It's some use, if you, if you will. Um, other than that, it runs and drives just fine. And I had to replace the windshield wipers, of course, because they were gone. Might have to replace this stupid thing. But other than that, it's not a bad car. There's some cobwebs that haven't been taken care of. <clears throat> missing a bunch of uh clips here i got some i'm just gonna shove in there and fix but uh no as far as i can tell there's no uh i don't know look <sighs> dump bees or wasps nest mostly wasps hornets whatever the brakes are uh huh. i think they'll work for a while <laughs> They've been, uh, like I said, sitting for a while, but yeah, I'll have to fix that. No big deal. I need to take this off, hit it with heat so it'll come back to its normal color. Yeah, those brakes are a little rusty. I need a new clip there. Those things always break, and especially on my Tundra. I've replaced probably like 50 of them 
<laughs> over the years because they just break off. What are you going to do? Had some sort of tags here. I don't know what that was, but the Daimler Chrysler Corporation. The VIN number. All this other stuff. And then the tire loading information. Other than that, that's about it. And that's part one. I mean, I was going to do like, show you how to replace windshield wipers, but pfft, there's been about a billion videos of that somewhere floating on the lube tube so you can figure that one out but yeah that's about it it runs and drives 133,000 k i should have said 133 k but you know i'm dumb but uh yeah that's about it see you for part two